please stand for the pledge. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Good morning, Jupiter High School, and happy Valentine's Day. Today is a special day for a lot of reasons. One, it's Valentine's Day. We celebrate that time-honored tradition. And I'm also here with Jordan Vasala, right, um, to, for another, another reason. Uh, today is a day that we memorialize and remember the victims of that terrible tragedy down at Marjorie Stoneman Douglas High School. Um, Jordan, I brought you on here. Is, is, uh, can you share something about that? Yeah, uh, so four years ago, as you know, Marjorie Stoneman Douglas High School went through a school shooting and they went through the unimaginable. A gunman opened fire with a semi-automatic rifle, killing 17 people and injuring 17 others. Parents sent their kids to school and not knowing that it may be the last time they would see them. These victims were just like you and I. They had family and friends. They played sports like football and soccer. They were part of school clubs and they had hobbies and Jamie danced and she was really good. The students we lost won't be able to grow up, get a job, to graduate college, get married. We may have lost a future engineer, doctor, athlete, or dancer. Valentine's Day, a day of love, won't ever be the same. Yeah, and, and, you know, there's, besides, uh, we have similar schools, um, you know, in terms of demographics and, you know, size and all, there are a lot of very personal connections. I know I had a lot of students who have very close friends who went to Stoneman Douglas, not just friends of friends, but actual friends. Uh, I know lacrosse players, there's a lot of, uh, a lot of, you guys play together. Um, maybe now it's the younger brothers and sisters of kids who lived through that. And so there's, the connection between Jupiter High School and Marjorie Stoneman Douglas is more than just, just a, a, a slight one. There's quite a bit of a connection. In fact, while we're getting ready to celebrate some positive things here, what, what connection do you, you mentioned Jamie? Jamie was one of my family friends and my dad was friends with her dad. Okay, so see, there. I mean, it's it's right there, and it could happen to anyone. And it's important that we support each other. Uh, you'll see before school and at uh, lunch today, we'll have um, a chalkboard for us to write positive things. So just message to anyone else who might be walking past, and uh, the SGA members will give you a little card too to take away. So please remember that as you're expressing your love for each other, um, also express the that more platonic uh, fam for familial love for each other and the support that we get around here. But let's um, recognize now Mason MC. Mason MC found and returned a phone. So Gina Mano, you get the thing. And, and Mason, thank you. I know that's, you know, people get their phones disappear all the time. And I, I think around here, if you lose a phone, you're very, very likely to get it back um, because so many of you are, understand what it's like. It's really that empathy, um, what it's like to lose your own phone and, and have a, you know, have it get stolen and never see it again with all your pictures on it. So Ethan McKissick, that's it. So we got Mason and Ethan McKissick is number two. And what uh, cleaned up a huge mess after a group project without being asked to do so. Again, just just saw something that needed to be done and and took it upon himself to do it. So Mason and Ethan, thank you very very much. Thank you Jordan for coming on and sharing that. I know I know thank it was you. difficult, and that's why I was kind of let, I'll let you get a break with this and. We're going to go into the minute of silence now, and I know Jordan and I would appreciate if you would like to keep the, those young men and young women and, uh, and the coach there um, in your thoughts during this minute of silence. Thanks, and I'll see you all in the halls. Thanks, Coach D. What up, what up, what up, Jupiter? I'm Pearson Fisher, and today we are joined by the one, the only, 
Put your hands together for Randy Preisendorf. Woo! It's an honor to be here today. Thank you. Is, as always, we have your JJ Student News for Monday, February 14th, 2022. The Drama Club is performing The Addams Family for this year's Spring Musical. If you are interested in auditioning for a role or being involved in tech, submit an audition form on the Google Classroom. The code is SKQIMHB. Auditions and forms are due today, February 14th. SGA News, the Athlete of the Week is... Mina Akleshen. Mina is a junior who is on the Warrior Dance Team. She is also in Social Studies and English Honor Society. She has made such a big impact on the dance team while maintaining good grades. Thank you, Mina, for representing what a warrior is. And now, this week's Teacher of the Week is... Miss Finneran. She consistently shows she cares about these students and goes the extra mile to make sure they succeed. Congrats, Miss Finneran. And now, here's a fun commercial from Miss Rogers' class. Hi, I'm P.L. I'm Harrison. Our unique skills class has adopted the Chasewood Animal Hospital. We are conducting donations and you can receive one service hour per three items for the time spent collecting. Here are the items needed. Squashing items and sheets. Cat toys. Cat litter. Litter boxes. Towels and blankets. When packed, played, and gently used. Please bring donation to room 7110. Thank you for helping us, and have a great day, Warriors. Awesome. Man, I love cats. Boys Varsity Lacrosse plays tomorrow, February 15th at Dwyer High School at 7 p.m. Tickets can be purchased at GoFan. Attention seniors, the Class of 2022 Turf Picture is on Friday, February 18th at the end of first hour. Please make sure you wear your Class of 2022 senior shirt for the photo and report to the football field when the announcement is made. Thank you. Dance Marathon is on February 26th from 5 to 10 p.m. We hope to raise 30000 or more for the Children's Miracle Network at Shands Hospital. To attend, click on this QR code, set up a donor page, and raise a minimum of $25. The National Honor Society Clothing Drive. All students can participate for one hour of community service for your time spent selecting three items of clothing. There is a cap of 10 hours or 30 items. Donations must be labeled with the number of clothing items, student name, and student number. Students must drop off donations to room 1155 only. Drop-offs at the main office will not be accepted. No socks or undergarments. Deadline is Friday, February 18th. Mathematics National Honor Society is accepting applications. Come by room 6110 to pick up an application. Requirements, junior or senior currently enrolled at Jupiter High in pre-calculus, ACE math, AP statistics, AP calculus, or dual enrolled in college algebra or higher. Have a 3.5 GPA in all math classes and have a 3.5 overall unweighted GPA. All applications are due by February 18th, no exceptions. Here's Felix with the ESOL tutorial drawing. Yo, what is up, Jupiter High? It is your boy, Felix, with this week's ESO Tutorial Prize Drawing. Congratulations! Congratulations to Julian Panita. Attended the tutorials any day in the media center after school to win the next drawing. Now, here's a Valentine's joke. What did the chef give to his wife on Valentine's Day? A hug and a quiche. Have a happy Valentine's Day, Warriors. And now you've been waiting the birthdays of the day. Happy birthday to Anthony Siglio, Hayden Kyle, Eileen Lounsbury, Michael Overbeck, and last but certainly not least, Lucas Stone. I hope you all have a very happy birthday. One more time, put your hands together for Randy Preisendorf. You are amazing. It has been an honor to have you guest Thank starring you. today. And that is all the news we have for today.